It was during curfew hours early Sunday morning when 32-year-old Ernest Stain was gunned down in St. Bite, and another man, 30-year-old Alric Munnings, was shot in the neck. They were reportedly at G Bar, along with the owner, when they were attacked. According to Stain's sister, the gunman had come on an execution mission. You know, fool the people, you know, for our work, to home, home, to work. You know, you know, trouble people. So I don't know why would I want to kill them. Like what I say, and I tell everybody how I want to ask that person, why? Why would my brother do one? To make he kill my brother. Because he can't say, well, he take my brother for somebody. Because when he don't shot my brother the first shot, my brother dropped on the ground, they say he walk over and finish her. So they don't like, he take her for somebody. Seven years now, my brother come out of jail. Seven years now, you know, got back. So he come out, he work, power, to go home. You know, fool with nobody. Because he said, a friend make a guy in the jail. So, you know, he need to go back. So, so then, you know, he had no problem with nobody. So then I don't really sleep good. And I can't eat. Because that's my oldest brother. I the only girl my mom has. He and my protector. Anything happen, I go to him. And with her protector gone, the family is now depending on the police to bring justice. And while they're on the case, the communications officer explained that the incident could have been avoided if the victims hadn't breached curfew. It's a re re repeated um, problem, especially in these rural communities where our police officers are stretched thin doing their patrols, people take advantage of it and uh, they still they, they are out during curfew hours and as if there is no curfew. They make themselves easy targets because at this time you have minimal movement in the streets and um, of course if you have a problem with someone else then there is not, not much hindrance that would um, cause your, so to speak, enemy to find you during curfew hours. And Stain's killer had indeed found him, forcing him to leave behind his common-law wife and eight-year-old stepdaughter. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.